So Sharif has been banned from the Love Island reunion that has taken place this Sunday. Hey guys, it's Murad Murani. Hopefully you guys are doing well today and yet another day where Sharif takes another L. Now before we get into this video, please do subscribe and click that button for daily consistent videos and follow me on my Instagram at Murad and Murali. I'd massively appreciate it. Now this particular story, obviously, you know, this article that was released earlier today where axed Love Island contestant Sharif has been banned from taking part in Sunday's reunion episode. One of the original Islanders this year, the 20 year old was kicked out of the show after nine days for breaking the rules. It later emerged that he was removed for kicking Molly Mae Haig in the groin and joked it was a CUNT punt. The Sun reports that ITV told Sharif he is not required at the show because his contract with the show has now ended but he is still eligible for the aftercare program. A source close to Sharif told The Sun that Sharif is terribly gutted. He was really looking forward to having the chance to reunite with the other islanders who became his friends during the villa. It's hard to fathom why they wouldn't want him as he was so popular during a short tent on the show. Okay, we're going to relax on the so popular because I don't think he was that popular. He made a mistake and apologised. So why is he still why is he still punished? And you know, it's hard to fathom. A spokesperson for the former Islander told the paper, It would have been nice for Sharif to see his friends at the reunion. It's a shame ITV feel this strongly against him attending. An ITV representative confirmed Sharif left the series of Love Island by mutual agreement after breaking the rules and there are no plans for him to appear at the weekend's After Sun reunion. After leaving the villa this week, runner up Molly May Haig also spoke out with the, you know, beef with Sharif and she reflects that there actually isn't any beef with him. When asked if there was any drama between them, she said, no, absolutely not. No beef with me and Sharif. I've not got my phone back here. I've not even spoken to Sharif. But there's absolutely no beef between me and Sharif. I love the boy to pieces. At the time of his exit from the villa, Sharif released a statement. In a case of poor judgment, I broke the villa rules and as a result agreed with the producers that it was best for me to leave the villa. I regret that I didn't conduct myself in the right way and as a 20 year old guy, it's something that I know I'll take on board, board and learn from. So we have this story which kind of reflects that Sharif has been, you know, not only dumped and banned and evicted from the villa, which we all know, but he's literally been ripped apart from any association with ITV and with the show. Why are they being so aggressive with this stance? We don't know. But other reports were also saying because Sharif came out with his own interview with The Sun and reflected on, you know, subconscious kind of forms of racism that could have potentially taken place. And perhaps, apparently, allegedly, that has angered ITV producers and the ITV team a lot. There must be more going on behind the scenes for ITV to have such a strong stance against Sharif and not allowing him to be, you know, at the reunion. For those who've been watching my um, Love Island reviews very carefully, at the beginning of the season, I was in very support of him when he was taken out of the villa, when he, you know, was removed. I was completely supporting and riding for him. But obviously, we've seen lives where he's taken part in, you know, unnecessary bashing of other islanders, what we've all seen. So really and truly, a lot of people's opinions of him have unfortunately changed. And, you know, some rightly so, perhaps not rightly so, but apart from all of that, if you put that into perspective and put that away for a quick second, it is a bit weird that they have completely banned him from the reunion. Like, what is the actual reason for why this has taken place? Nobody really knows, but at the same time, it is a bit of a shame because, you know, people wanted, you know, especially for him, like, he's really just been outcasted. I don't think this has ever happened for Love Island where they've completely outcasted somebody. And obviously, the question would arise is with this hundred, like, with this, like, really deep, negative, 100% kind of stance that. Uh, ITV are gunning for him would that be the case if it was a different colour I feel like it would be far more lenient and I feel like that thought process needs to just be thrown out there because you know it can be food for thought but what are your thoughts on the situation because I feel like they didn't even include him on the trailer of like you know showing the class of 2019 he was completely taken apart and he wasn't even addressed it was as if it was as if Sharif was not even in the villa like as if he wasn't as if he was a damn guest and he was there for a minute and then he disappeared everybody in the show have completely bycasted him everybody bycasted everybody on the platform of ITV have completely just ghosted from him disappeared from him put him in a box and have kept him there and the fact that he's been completely banned from the reunion as well I feel like something else must have gone down because I don't think for that reason why he, he had to leave 
that he has to be completely outcasted. It's just not fair, you know, it's irritating, it's unnecessary, and I feel like there's a deeper meaning behind this whole situation that unfortunately we will never understand or know about what is going on. But I thought I'd bring this update to you guys because again, there is a lot going on now with Love Island, you know, before this reunion. Hopefully it won't be one of those dead reunions from, you know, last year where they just sat on tables and they spoke and about a few things, asked a few questions. You know, I feel like I would want to see a setting where they're all in a club, all in a bar scene, and they all just, you know, put in places where they have to talk and you have these conversations. A bit of like a Made in Chelsea kind of esque back in the day kind of scenery. That I feel like would work well for a reunion because I feel like if they're all together being asked questions by Caroline Flagg, we've already seen that on After Sun. We've seen that kind of platform that kind of structure take place we're used to seeing that so if you want something else for the reunion something a bit more spicier a bit more edge a few confrontations that we should be expecting but i feel like we won't get it and i also feel like the reunion won't be as hyped up as we're all making it out to be hopefully it will but I doubt it. So let me know what your thoughts are on this update on Sharif, you know, being banned from the reunion. Do you guys agree with this or do you guys completely disagree? Do comment down below, please. I read all your comments. I'd massively appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, what are you doing? Click that button. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.